Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Minecraft Forge for 1.16.1. It just came out last night at like 2 a.m. or something my time. Forge dropped for everyone on 1.16.1 very quickly after we actually saw the official 1.16 release. So great on the guys over at Forge getting that updated super, super fast so we can all enjoy as many mods as possible for as long as possible on 1.16.1. First and most though, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz, to start an incredible Minecraft server. Whether you want a vanilla Minecraft server with no mods or whether you want a brand spanking new Forge server running Minecraft 1.16.1 Apex Minecraft Hosting is here to help you out. You can set up a Forge server with just one click on Apex and quickly and easily install mods on it. Also, if mod packs are more your thing, you can install mod packs again with just one click. Literally, you click on the mod pack, click OK, and there you go. So I guess it's two clicks, but still, it's super simple. You can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, check out Apex, first link down below, the breakdown .xyz slash apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Forge installed. That's why you're here after all. So let's go ahead, get Forge installed and set up. The first thing you want to do is actually go to the second link down below. When you click on that, that's going to take you to our website. Now, this is actually a text tutorial showing you how to download and install Forge, which that's crazy. It's now helped over 1.3 million people get Forge set up. But anyway, it goes through every single step of getting Forge. And while that's great, we're going to be doing this in this video as well. So if you would rather use the text tutorial, you can. If you would rather use this video, however, you can also use that. Nevertheless, once you're here, though, click on the green Download Forge button. That's actually going to take us off to Forge's website. Now, right now, if you go to Forge's, like, homepage, 1.16 isn't selected. Why is that? Because Minecraft 1.16.1 is not stable. It's still in beta. And Forge does not make their homepage go to the most recent version. They make it go to the most recent release. And there's a difference there because beta versions aren't release versions, right? So, anyway, long story short is we'll need to select 1.16.1 unless you're watching this, like, six months in the future or even three months. Who knows? They updated so fast, it might be tomorrow, but nevertheless, unless it's in the future where what's already selected, you'll need to click on the plus 1.16 over here on the left-hand side. See that? Plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.1. Now, if you see MC 1.16.1 here, you are good to go. You don't need to do anything else. You have done it. It says MC 1.16.1, we are good. Now, as you can see, there's only download latest because, well, again, it's in beta. So anyway, under download latest, click on the installer button. That will then take us off to where we have to wait five seconds. Stop, don't click anything on this page. Your download is not ready. This is lying to you. Do not click a single thing on this page. Stop it. Don't click a single thing on this page whatsoever. All you wanna click is the red skip button in the top right. That's it, nothing else. Don't even click over here where it says add focus once to show notifications. Don't click on it. Just click that red skip button in the top right. That's it, just that red skip button in the top right. Once you click on that, it will automatically download Forge in the bottom left. As you can see for us, it says Forge-1.16.1. As long as it says Forge-1.16.1 in the title of yours as well, go ahead and click Keep. If it doesn't, just click Discard and then click that red skip button in the top right. On Mozilla Firefox, same thing. It'll pop up in the center of your screen though and it'll say Forge 1.16.1. If it does, go ahead and save the file. You are good to go. If it doesn't, discard it and then click Skip again and it will download Forge for you. But nevertheless, once you've got Forge downloaded, we can minimize our browser. And here on my desktop is Forge 1.16.1. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries. It's going to be in your downloads folder. And to find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen. Click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and click on or type in downloads, right like so. Downloads, spell it correctly, maybe. How did, I, I misspelled downloads. Anyway, go ahead and type in downloads right like so. You'll have this downloads file folder. Click on that and you'll find Forge in your downloads folder. Drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Once Forge is on your desktop, we need to go ahead and open it. Now, this is pretty simple if you have Java installed and the correct versions of Java and things like that. If you don't, this won't work, but I'll show you what to do. But if you do have Java installed and it's all correct, it'll look like this. You'll have this like coffee cup logo, right? So that's good. And then if you have Java installed, you're step one, right click on it, click on open with, click on Java. It might not say Java TM platform SE binary. It might just say Java, whatever. Just click on Java and then click okay. Then it will open up the installer. However, what if you can't do that? What if you don't have the Java coffee cup? What if you, when you click on open with, Java's just not here? What if this looks like a completely different file? Well, I have a solution for you. I think it's a WinRAR file, if it's a zip file, if it's just a blank page. 
this is what you need to do. You need to go to the description down below and go to our tutorial on downloading Java. This shows you how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Forge allows us to get Minecraft mods, so guess what? We need Java in order to do that, in order to install Forge and thus get Minecraft mods. So anyway, come here, go through this quick three-step tutorial on installing Java, then come back and try to open up this file. However, if you still can't open up that file, no worries you need to run the jar fix. This is also linked in the description down below. And what this is gonna do is take all of the jar files on your computer and link them up with Java once again, basically making them all work together nice and perfectly and basically in harmony, right? So it's gonna link everything together, make them work incredibly, and then you'll be good to go. You can then finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java and click OK, right? So there we go. Now we have the mod system installer for Forge opened up. Now, all you want to do in here is click on install client and click OK. And then it's going to do everything it needs to do. It's going to download Forge, it's going to set it up, it's going to do everything that it needs to do to get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.16.1. It's a super simple, super easy process. And overall, it just takes a while, right? It just takes a minute to get everything downloaded, everything set up. I mean, it's changing pretty much everything in Minecraft. As you're seeing, what it's doing right now is looking at every block in Minecraft and actually making those things appear in Forge so we can change them, right? If a mod wants to go in there and use a grass block, Forge has, has data of that and then that mod can call that via Forge. So pretty cool stuff, a little bit too techy there, but nevertheless, we're just waiting on this to download anyway and install. And then eventually it does say successfully installed a client profile Forge for version 1.16.1. That's what we wanted to see. It might not say that exactly if as long as it says successful here or successfully in some way, you're good to go, right? You've done it successfully or we are done. Now, if you do have an issue and it does say, you know, it doesn't work or something like that, you need to run Minecraft 1.16.1 without any mods installed. Just go play, latest release, whatever. Go install Minecraft 1. 1.16.1. We have a video on how to do that, which you can check out at the top of your screen. But nevertheless, go and install 1.16.1 and then you'll be good to go. So we can go ahead and click OK here because we successfully installed it and it's automatically going to close out of the Forge launcher. Now we can actually delete this from our desktop. I saw some people asking, do I have to keep this on my desktop? No, you can delete this from your desktop. Now it might not let you right away and if it doesn't, don't worry. When you open up Minecraft and close it, it will let you delete that Forge file. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Minecraft. So to do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher, just the default normal Minecraft launcher that we all know and love here. And then when you log in, it should say Forge down here in the bottom left. And then under that, it should say 1.16.1-Forge. If it doesn't, don't freak out. For example, if it says latest release, don't, don't freak out about it. Click on this little arrow drop down here to the left and then click on Forge. Right, so click on that little arrow and then click on Forge and then you can click play. But Nick, I didn't have that. I don't even have this Forge profile. Or do you have the Forge profile and it doesn't say 1.16.1-Forge, it says 1.15.2 or 1.12 or whatever it says, what do you do then? Well, no worries. All you need to do is click on the installations tab here. And then you click on installations, just click on this plus new button. See that plus new? Click on that. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible 1.16.1 Minecraft server. We've got grief protected survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests and a player based economy and aquatic survival having a awesome slash shop based economy. We've also got custom skyblock with OP enchantments, 1.8 PVP, fence generators. It's a ton of fun. And then factions is absolutely incredible with custom enchantments, factions upgrades. It's a small faction player based system. You don't have 10 people in a faction. It is absolutely incredible. And as I'm recording this video, season two is about to come out. So come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com. It's 1.8. You will love it. We encourage rating. Come play factions on Breakdown Craft. Come play survival. It's all incredible. It truly is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. But anyway, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Let's get Forge installed. So after you got your name entered in there, let's go ahead and click on this version drop down box. And then once you click on that, you want to find release 1.16.1 Forge. For me, it's right up here at the top. For you, you may have to scroll down a little bit to find it. Sometimes it will be, by the way, at the very, very bottom. So don't be afraid to scroll all the way down to the bottom if it's not at the top and it'll be down here. However, ours is right here at the top. So we can go ahead and select that. I'm going to change my resolution. That's just so you all can see better once you get in game. You don't have to do that. And then click the green create button in the bottom right. Now we have this new profile down here at the bottom, play.breakdowncraft.com. We want to hover over that and then click on that green play button here. That's then going to open up Minecraft with Forge installed. It's that simple. Well, actually see Forge is installed right away because it'll open up this. This is what they call the Forge early loading process. And it's basically just kind of launching up some things and getting things pre, you know, kind of set up before Minecraft opens up. So it's a bit of a different system uh, to where it used to be, which it used to do this on this loading screen, right? Whenever Minecraft was loading is when most of the stuff would be done. Now it's actually done before and it's just registering things and getting kind of things set up during this Mojang Studios screen. So here we go. We have now installed Forge. It's that simple. It's that easy. If you don't have any like issues launching up Forge, it's actually telling me that these mods don't exist because I did the tutorial. Proceed to main menu button. There we go. <laughs> so just because you won't have that, that's just some leftover mods that I had in there.
there. If you do have that issue, by the way, you want to go clear out your mods folder, you can do that and you'll be good to go. That's what that was. How do you get to your mods folder? You just click on mods and then click on open mods folder here. And there we go. Here they are. Like we can drag these and delete them, for example. But yeah, there you have it. We have Forge installed. You can see Forge, there it is. And then we can also see Forge down here in the bottom left. No denying, Forge is up and running. As you can see though, Forge is in beta. You might have some major issues and verify them before reporting. Basically, there are bugs. That's what that's saying. So expect those bugs and don't freak out if you do have any issues with bugs because they're there. Everyone knows they're there because it's Forge and it's in beta and it's buggy when it's in beta, right? So it'll be absolutely incredible. Forge is super, super stable once it reaches full release, but in beta, just like you would expect, it is buggy. Can you tell I did a world edit tutorial here? <laughs> anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. You now know how to download and install Forge and Minecraft 1.16. Dot one. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. Again, we do have incredible grief protected survival, 1.16.1 medieval survival with 30 custom quests and a player based economy, aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy, awesome custom skyblock, incredible, high quality, amazing factions. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been the Breakdown. I am out. Peace.